evening, good evening, guys. Good evening, guys. Hope everybody's having a happy Friday. <laughs> Hope everybody's having a happy Friday. I want to talk about... Being an um, a individual. I saw a post online where DMX, you know, the GOAT DMX, he said that uh, he doesn't like to blend in or fit in with everyone else. He liked to stay in his own lane. Now, back when it made me think that there's nothing wrong with having your own lane there's nothing wrong with doing your own thing or walking your own path in life you don't have to follow the flock you really don't and this is why if i was a father and i had children i would never try to make my kids be the way that i want them to be because i feel people have the right to be whoever the, whoever they choose to be you know you be whoever you want to be you don't force people to be who you want them to be. You be whoever you want to be. Do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law. You know, I don't believe in a standard. If I was a parent, I wouldn't have a set standard for my children. I believe you just be however you want to be. Let the chips fall where they may. And that's how I feel about it. And when I saw that post from DMX, it made me think in my mind. It made me really think to myself. Um, it's nothing wrong with riding your own wave. It's nothing wrong with being an individual. You don't have to follow the in crowd. But see, when you're a teenager, when you're an adolescent, you don't realize that. But at 34 years old, it's nothing wrong with having your own lane to shine in. Do your thing. You know, live how you want to live. You know, it's your life. Do what you want to do. Don't listen to what nobody got to tell you because people going to always have their opinion. You know, I'm not saying don't listen to nobody. You need to listen to who people who are worth listening to. But it's nothing wrong with being your own individual. It's nothing wrong with riding your own wave. Do do what make you happy. Be your own individual. You know, and I had to come to terms and understand that Everybody wasn't meant to be a winner. Some people are losers. And being a loser ain't nothing to be ashamed of either. Because life is all about the cards you've been dealt. Everybody wasn't meant to be a winner. You know? Just like, you know, like Steve Hoker said years ago. You know? If you're a man and women don't find you attractive, one thing Steve Hoker said, except that you are a loser. Some people are losers, you know. Everybody can't be number one because two is not a winner and three nobody remembers. You know, everybody wasn't born to win. Some people were born to lose. And I just had to understand that, you know, you don't have to be in the in crowd. You don't have to follow what everybody else is doing. I, I didn't realize this in my younger days, but I see it now as an adult. You, you know, you do your own thing. Whatever floats your boat, whatever makes you happy, you do that. If it brings you peace, if it brings you joy, if it brings you happiness, whatever makes you feel good, you do that. You know, because that's what this life is all about at the end of the day. You don't have to ride the wave of the in crowd. You don't have to assimilate to what everyone else is doing. You do your thing, you know? And, um, you know, this, this that's why I say, you know, if you a man and um, you was dealt a bad deck of cards, you know, just, you know, you know, just gloat in your misery, you know? Pour up some champagne and say, you know, salute to being in a bad position, you know. Don't be ashamed of being in a bad position because everybody wasn't born to win. Some people were born to live a bad life. I truly believe that. Uh, everybody just wasn't born, you know, to be great. 
some people were born to lose, like I stated. And that's one thing that Steve Hoka said years ago, except that you are a loser in the game of life. And that's the message here. You know, if you are outcast, if you are reject, stay in that lane, play your position. You know, if you are failure, stay in that lane, play that position. You know, you know, if you are reject, you a man that ain't desired, that ain't wanted. Stay in that lane and play that position and just accept that's who God made you to be a failure. Pour up some champagne and celebrate that failure because everybody wasn't meant to be a winner. That's what I had to come to terms with. And just know this. If you ever do luck up and you get you a wife, just know that she ain't in love with you. She in love with your assets. Oh, yeah. She in love with your money. See, what I had to come to terms and learn to understand is that everybody is not worthy of love. Everybody is not good enough to receive love. Some people are just inferior. They just they just wasn't born with the right genetics to seal the deal. You know, God made some people inferior. He really did. And um, this is why I say. Uh, just play your position, you know. It's unfortunate that, you know, we're the people that life gave a bad deck of cards. But whatever whatever deck of cards life gave you, that's the hand that you got to play. You know, that's unfortunately, you know, you know, this is this is the hand that life dealt us. We weren't part of the lucky crew. We weren't part of God's chosen people. You know. Everybody can't be a champion. Everybody want to be great. But everybody can't be great, you know, and it's unfortunate. And that's what I had to learn and understand is that everybody is not worthy of love. Everybody is not good enough to get somebody that will love and appreciate them. Everybody ain't good enough for that. Some people just ain't worth nothing. And that's what I had to realize. I used to believe that God made everybody special, that everybody has value. It's not true. So. The message here, just play your position. I know it's a bad life. I know it's a hard life. I know it's an unfortunate position that you're in. Being a man who's an outcast, being a man who's a reject, being a man who ain't worthy of love. I know it's a hard position to be in. But, you know, if you're in a losing position, just make sure you play that losing position to the best of your ability. And that's all you can do. You know? God didn't make us all great. And everybody don't have the genetics to win. Some people got the genetics to lose, you know? And that's why I like Steve Hoka. Steve Hoka, he's a real dude. I would love to link up with Mr. Steve Hoka and maybe we could have a drink of cognac. If you see this video, Steve Hoka, make sure you reach out to me. Um, yeah, he said it the best in his video, are unattractive men the losers of society? And, and this is a very unfortunate position to be in. That's a legendary video by Mr. Steve Hoker. But uh, whatever position you in in life, you just got to play that position, even if you in a losing position. Because some people are in a bad position. You know. That's why I feel men who are outcasts, men who are not wanted, they should have like a special club or a special a special like fraternity for these types of men so we can all link up and just kick it together you know because it's a lot of guys out there who are rejects losers they're not desired by no women you know there needs to be a place in society like maybe you know a congregation for these kind of guys to link up and to be social but um, just just be your own individual. That's what I thought about when I saw that DMX post. Just be your own individual. Whatever lane you in, play that to the best of your ability, even if it is a bad position. And just know that you was just an unfortunate person. But that's been this discussion for this beautiful Friday evening. Peace out. Have a good night.